All right, in this video, we are going to see the malware section of um, Exchange. So let's get to Exchange. And protection. So we had the other like interface as well, but I'm gonna go with this one malware filter right here. So in default, the private uh, policy is default with the lowest priority. Priority summary is that it's the malware detection response. Like if the exchange server detects that an email is uh, containing a malware, what to do with it? and it will not send a notification to the sender and that's a good thing and it will not send an ad net um, notification to administrator either that is a good or bad thing depending on um, what do you think or how big the company is customized notification uh, notification text is not configured zero auto zero hour auto purge is on last night in our video we learned that zero hour is even if the mail it falls through the cracks and still gets delivered to your inbox and gets scanned later on like uh, the the exchange uh, server learns that that email is a malware it will go and remove it from your inbox so let's it's already selected you can either double click it like in a computer or you can click this pencil so let's see double clicking the name is default there's no description set you can do so the settings so let's go no. all right so these settings are oh it's a relatively small one it says malware detection response do you want recipient of their message are quarantined no um like they don't need to know it depends like the company uh, like they don't want to be burdened their employees with emails that are just telling them hey congratulations your email is on some spammers list and he has been sending all kind of emails and they get a notification so no but on some instances they might want a notification so if it's an important email uh cust and cust like their employee can tell them uh no i need that in uh, email but like uh, what happened to us it was that customer wanted that information that special uh, specific email so we had to trace it and so it could be the default notification or the custom if you click default it's grays out but if you click custom you can write your own hello So, quarantine, quarantine, okay, quarantine. So, <coughs> it's like whatever you put here, you can put here anything. I'm gonna go with the no. Common attachment types filter. Ah, this is the one. If you remember, I talked about like how we, if we could send the, uh, we could send the documents, but we could not send the zip files or, um, I think we could send the zip file but we were not able to send the other uh, um, file types that were associated with the RAR zip RAR so it's off but if you turn it on if an email contains all of this these like visual basic scripts CR registry edit uh, I think this one is re registry value adding 
uh, jr that's the one i was thinking for this is associated with the zip files like it's one of them and definitely exe you do not want your uh, exe to be run or app like now apps are so common this could be word document because just normally they have doc dot doc associated with them this m could stand let me see what it is the doc m file macro oh so macros uh, I, I knew that they were with the excel but apparently they are with the uh, word as well so macros are like tiny add-ons type for word I don't know what AC is but ANI but app and definitely so if you turn it on and a user send them any of these um, um, file types um, like attached to it those emails will be detection response I'm not sure what it will be done will it be zero hour purge or it will be quarantine I want to go I want to lean towards that they will be quarantined and if the user is for example uh, expecting a VBS or a document he can tell the administrator hey I need that um, um, email and that admin can actually go and look into the quarantine messages and release it zero hour auto purge is on so it's saying that malware detected after delivery so uh, yep I think it's quarantine I'm really not sure I'm gonna actually send some test messages I'm gonna keep this on in right here and I'm gonna send some like and see what happens they're purged like gone or they're quarantine notification send a notification send a message to the sender of the undelivered message notify internal sender notify external sender internal sender you might want to because this is one of your employees sending an email and if you I think you should because if the message has been quarantined and or it's not undelivered so you want to send me for example uh, sometime that you have to send an email to one of your co-worker there are two ways you can either email or you can like every um, they all we all have file servers we can make a folder there copy it over there and let them know hey you can access that file from there I think accessing file through the server or uh, like file server is a better way but we all love to send emails so you might want to check this depending on how the policy is like it's not up to you it's up to the company that uh, if they send an email and it's an important one the other user wants it or relying on it like sales is sending something to um, inbound sales send something to outbound sale or it's to manager exchanging a list of excel or my word document something like that so if it's not delivered you want the sender uh, you want sender to know that it didn't so they can either contact you and tell you hey you know it's safe you can check and all that and it is very important or they find another way to send that uh, word document for example to the other manager external sender I am not sure I really don't like this one because the reason is <laughs> it is good if the external sender is an innocent person like in our case it was all his friends who were sending him emails through the osu.edu uh, domain so yeah they then they can you know 
and they can tell hey we've been uh, trying to contact you what's happening that's actually what happened to him they said that hey we have been trying to contact you what's happened uh, why you're not responding are you all right so but if it's a spammer you don't want him to know that hey we got you and you know and then if it's really uh, somebody who has bad intents he can change his tactics or change the email address or you know try to send a phishing email to get better access into your system so it depends really i uh, but if it was up to me i would not select this one administrator notifications sends a message to the administrator of the undelivered messages so if there's there are administrator and you know the company has hired some people to actively monitor all the emails and you know it's they they know how important it can be so they want their these admins to actually look into those emails and release them if they are official and you know they uh, people need it so they they do uh, like if uh, one manager sends to the other and other is relying on that one that email is not delivering uh, and he needs that to complete his work so in that scenario or for the like those like interdepartment um, communication it is important for them then the some one or some admin can actively uh, keep checking those messages and release them uh, whatever is like through internal means and pass um, all their inspection so if you do that you can enter that email address so that admin that admin's email address for example I can put Ali on this and there's another admin that only looks after uh, this e admin uh, looks for the internal senders like within the company this one is for example somebody sending emails outside from outside gmail yahoo uh, outlook macy's amazon anyone so he is he gonna get all the notification about from the external senders so customize notification again same thing if you want the customized notification default rather than default then you can check this message and enter your things uh, from name address subject and all that <coughs> so we're gonna go with the default one message from external standards is subject and message so if we click this this gets as well all right so this was the malware there's nothing more in here uh, it's very simple in they're all red still all right so i'm not saving it uh, actually i can let's do this yeah i turned it on let's do this let's save it i forgot that i wanted to send an email from those um uh containing those uh file types connection filter is it through the domain scope to IP yeah we saw it over there in the other one the policy is simple uh, what IP addresses like our uh, range of IP addresses are allowed to send and what are not so it will should give you the IP range and it's within the This is really advanced stuff so it could be internal IP addresses or the other ones 
so basically 0 to 26 means that any machine that has the IP address of 0 to 26 those 27 machines will not be able to send uh, or they, they will be able to we are in allow but if they are blocked then they are blocked they cannot send so very easy if this if you like this video it has helped you please like rate share comment and subscribe and you have a good day